Turns out I've got two versions of Salt Cube running like a dumbass. Uh, let's close this one. Um, okay, so I don't know which one it is, so try again. There you go. It's like that one. I'm going to try and check. Now, if it doesn't crash straight away, that's a positive sign. Let's look for that. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um... So that should have. Is there a problem there? Load library failed. So it failed to inject the DLL. Now that could be a really a range of things, usually right at the beginning of the hack. So I'm going to check. Sorry, it's not there. It's on this one. So I'm just going to check the beginning of my code. That could have been anything that was screwed up there. So bool, win API, DLL main. Um, Open that h instance h instance dll word fdw reason be void lp reserved switch fdw reason if it attaches run the initiate hooks create the thread break and the and the case yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that really overwrite values create thread overwrite values thread start routine so I'm just going to bring this up to there just so I can see it better. Uh, no, no, no. So I'm just going to check this one. All right, value seems absolutely fine. So for some reason it failed to attach that, which is really strange. So loop forever. That's fine. DLL main. Let's move up to initiate hook. See if there's anything wrong with that. Uh, find pattern. Here are the patterns. Um, should inject fine, so I'm just gonna. Uh, so here I'm gonna do a quick test to, to see. I'm just copying over something, which should tell us if we injected properly or not. So all that's gonna say is copy that if you'd like, if you're having problems. But odds are we'll have the same problem, and um, should be able to fix it. So I've done it again. Uh, look on the folder again. Mid function hook YouTube. Close that. Remote DLL32. Run it again. Attach into AC client.exe. Attempt to inject. That's a good start. Um, yeah, so looking at it now, attach successfully, that's good. It fucking fails for some reason. Um, that's interesting. So we have something failing, which is majorgainers.com. Um, not cool at all. So we have to try and figure out what the fuck have we done wrong. So that's not the problem. Um, so run that, initiate hooks. We may have done something wrong here that's perhaps crashing it or so. So I'm just going to compare them quickly. D, D word ammo addy. Um, find pattern AC client. I see 89 0A 8B 7614FF0E. Okay, so after having a look, guys, uh, the problem is actually something quite simple. I went here to get module info, and one of the things I've noticed was this. Um, I've forgotten to do the um, the method call earlier. Um, it's quite unfortunate, actually, because I'm sure a lot of you guys that were using using Visual Studio 2010 or earlier, you, it would have come up as an error, but it still let me compile for some reason, which is incredibly stupid. Um, so one thing I've noticed about uh, 2012 version is it's very forgiving, which is a bad thing. Um, but anyways, compile it again, please. I'm going to compile mine, so I'm having a bit of trouble doing that because I've got the game running again. Um, <laughs> so other than that, it does seem fine. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I had this this uh, debug message here just to help me, but uh, use one. I'm sure you guys should use one as well if you need to. So rebuild it. You should have the files again in this folder, which should be fine. Let's get the DLL. And doo -doo 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 -doo, drag the DLL over, select the um, the client, AC client, and inject the DLL. First thing that comes up, absolutely beautiful, which is what we want. So we get this in return. If we look here, which guess what? It's right here. So we've gone, boom, and returning something is always better than returning nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Cheat Engine, attach onto. Um, obviously you don't have to do this just have a look at what I'm doing um, but attaching it to 
I see client, yes, keep the address list. And we're going to try and go to this address, see what we have. So we're going to go for 463279. Boom, oh shit. And guess what we have? Here's our unlimited ammo, absolutely beautiful. So it gets our unlimited ammo, which is what we're looking for. Um, this is why you should always use that to test it. And if you look, let's take a look at this for a second. Um, because the minute I press OK here, memory is going to change, hopefully, as long as we don't have any more problems. But memory is going to change. And I'm just going to take a screenshot of that so we can so you can see it yourself. I'm uh, just going to do that. Uh, oh, fuck's sake. My bad. Uh, if I do that there. There we go. So we're going to press OK quickly. And boom, guess what? We have here is a mid function hook. Now the game hasn't crashed, which is absolutely brilliant because it means uh, everything that we want to happen has happened. So this was the memory you had originally. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. Um, I guess I can take another screenshot. That should be fine. Uh, let's do another screenshot. Um, so just undo this. Uh, put that there as well. Oops, not that. I uh, want to do just that. Uh, that should be fine. Okay, so there you go. So kill this for a second. So that's, there you go. So we have, what we have here is we have this image and then we have this image. So if we somehow put them side by side, how will I do that? Need another client. Let's open up paint or some shit. <sighs> Never use paint, it's absolute shit. All right, there you go. It, lo it looks reasonable enough, I think. So yeah, we have two things here. So as you can see, on the left, we have the original instruction. So look there, can we zoom in? Yeah, of course it's not gonna be easy. That'll be too good. So we have the original instruction here and that's now being replaced with a jump. Oh, what does that mean? Um, so that's the original instruction. Now if we go here, this jump, press the space bar, it'll take us to where that jump goes. So one thing to notice as well is that that jump has two knobs in front of it. Why? Because if you remember properly from earlier, the instruction that we had required, um, it would be left with two bytes unless we nope them. So we've done seven instead of five, and then it kills the rest of the bytes, which we can call on the other jump. So if we go into cheat engine, press space. Oops, where is it? There we go. If we press space here, it'll take us to where it goes. So press it again, because sometimes it goes to a different place. And boom, right to where we want to be. So if we look here, and ignore that for a second. Sorry, this is quite confusing. A lot of stuff on screen right now. Um, if we go into hooks, uh, kill those. So we go into hooks, we look up here, and what do we have? Ink, byte pointer, ESI. Beautiful, which is what we want. Ink, that value. Push ESI as we expected. We need to make sure the original stuff is there to prevent any crashing. And we then have ASM move EDI, which is also another original instruction. And finally, we have um, the jump. Which guess what brings us right back to where we the instruction after the ones we wanted to. So we press space. Guess where we went? Boom! Right after the two knobs. Beautiful. Mid function hook. So as you can see, our DLL is there. We've injected it and we've called it. Good stuff. And that's really how we've done it. And that's good stuff. Um, for our Y axis. What we've done is the exact same thing, there's no point going over it, except we've put this bit of code here that gives us what ESI is worth, and hopefully that has worked. So we're going to test that out now. Um, so we can first thing, take a shot, it works. Now, if we press the space bar and it crashes, that means we've got something wrong. Uh, it's not applying the code, because I remember commenting out the create thread to test. So we're going to have to test that separately. So... Uh, create thread. Did I comment it out? Oh, sorry. That's my old my my old version. Uh, we want this one. So if we go up there, I'm going to comment this out for a second. Boom. Create thread. So feel feel free to use this and find out what's on Flyaddy as well. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna close this rebuild. Uh, so I can close retarded paint in uh, now. Um, and now I'm going to close that, open up AC Client again, and just show you the final version of this. Hopefully it will work, otherwise we'll have to fix that as well. Um, it's fine. Come on. I'm just going to rebuild the solution. Remember to always rebuild it once you've made any changes. Remote DLL. Drag, drag and drop that onto there. Um, AC Client and inject. Good. So successfully injected. There you go. That's what we, we needed, really. So as you can see, holding space will make me fly. 
Holding control will bring me down into hell. Uh, as you can see, that's it pretty much complete. Um, here you have some flying and uh, reverse ammo, all using just um, uh, what's, the, what's it called? Uh, function hook, which we've used to modify the game's assembly. So uh, I assume that pretty much covers everything. Um, like I said, this method is quite good, um, and you should definitely really try and explore and try and find out as much as you can about it. This is. Um, this is pretty much uh, a couple of different examples of it. You should definitely download the full solution, see all the comments there if you don't understand anything. I've gone into quite a bit of detail with those. Um, I think that covers everything. Uh, learning assembly generally takes quite a bit of time, so if you don't know anything about assembly, check out our forums. Uh, just go to guidedhacking.com and search for uh, assembly on the search bar and you'll see there's uh, a couple of threads with really good information there. Um, as I said earlier, we're making quite a few changes on the forum, so if you're not around there, make sure you get in there uh, because there's a lot of new stuff. Um, as usual, um, there are quite a few tutorials coming up, but it's I need I just need to get myself a bit more time on the side. So as you know, I've been trying to do these on my the little amount of spare time that I have, to be honest. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, this one is a bit of a I tried to take my time with this one because it was a bit of a difficult one and I think a very very useful one if you use it well. Um, uh, if you enjoy this please leave a like. And uh, that is it for me guys. Um, keep on hacking and I'll see you uh